everybody this is Nia Boz Filer here and just a, a personal note before we begin if you're wondering why I'm more manly becoming Boz again in this COVID days it's because there's no cosmetic uh, um, you know I can't see my cosmetician I can't do any epilation I can't do my laser treatments and if you think being feminine you know is easy when you have whiskers coming up through your concealer <laughs> it isn't it just heightens this for you so I'm um, you know I'm, I'm taking it easy and I'm, I'm waiting anxiously for meetings in the cosmetic and medical um, places so I could go back into this process and finally get my hormones because I was supposed to be on hormones already on HRT but because of corona you know there's no meetings in the hospital that are elective and and that whole things just stopped you know who knows when it's going to begin so I'm waiting I'm waiting so how are you all I hope you're feeling spring or fall wherever you are around the globe and makes you connect with nature connect with the beautiful transience of this universe with the beautiful eternal cyclic motion of this universe of our universe of our life and I promised you you know and especially if you if you've seen my last video but I promised you that this is already going to be an easier time that from mid-April things are going to be easier and I, I think they are easier I think that we are over the peak and I think that through the next week we're really going to feel it but if you watch my last video as well I was talking about this being a time of disclosure and a lot of scrutiny and criticism and correcting our ways both on a personal level you know updating our system updating our our um, operating system the structure from which we operate daily in this world our laws our constrictions what we abide by how we educate ourselves Saturn is about education and I'm talking about Saturn and and this is a time that these realignments karmatic realignments are needed both on a personal level update your system now as we're getting back into routine things cannot go back to be the way they were things need to be updated my own personal set of rules needs to be updated I can't go on to my daily routine as if nothing happened what if I learned on a personal level but on a collective level this is a time of reform and restructuring and rebellion and governmental political and power structure and and with power figures around the world and we can see a lot of scrutiny and criticism and judgment being passed by certain groups towards other certain groups through the next two weeks and a demand for progress a demand for an update a demand for a change we can see more people going out to the streets and we're heading towards a new moon in Taurus which is supposed to be very fruitful okay but it packs a punch it packs a punch this time so I'm gonna go through the days and show you how it flows so first of all Sunday the 19th as the Sun goes into Taurus the pace becomes much easier and harmonious and the things are, are set on a easier and 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 tranquil and a pay a, a paste and a concentration that looks more on personal satisfaction from the simplest things in life like food drink having a comfortable environment good people around me enjoying life enjoying life enjoying spring enjoying nature enjoying whatever is there as I said the transients and the eternity of that transients 
And that's the beautiful rhythm of Taurus and happy birthday, all you Taurians, I love you. And this all happens as there is a trine between Venus and Mars in the sky and a sextile between Mars and Mercury. So there is an, on the one hand a demand to walk forward you know, and, and provide greater satisfactions from our understandings, from the fact that we actually progress in our understandings in how we see things, in how we navigate things. And then again, there's a lot of energy, a lot of vibrance, you know, that is also sexual and sensual and, and, and vital, you know, that we can utilize to create and reshape things. And as we're heading towards Tuesday, which is the new moon day, I'm sorry, is it Tuesday? No, it's Thursday. As we're heading towards Thursday, which is the new moon day, remember every new moon cycle is an imprinting time. So whatever emotions you have flowing through you on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and even on Tuesday, you know, they're going to stay there for the next lunar cycle. So be very aware of whatever it is you're imprinting on the one hand. But that was Sunday the 19th, Monday the 20th, looks good. It is a moon conjunct Chiron day, so it's a good day for healing as well. And then Tuesday, we have the exact square between the Sun and Saturn. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday could feel summer, okay? They could feel a little um, too dark and critical. And we could see that demand for an update and, and the judgment regarding the lack of progress, maybe the immaturity, maybe we're not, you know, this could put a halt on personal, on personal projects. Maybe this isn't the time yet. Maybe this isn't ripe yet. But it's, it's a breath, okay? And it's a good time to actually pause and think about that realignment. It's a great day for thinking, you know? And, and actually working together with others to progress things that you love. Um, it is a moon in Aries, so... You will need your independence as well, but you can certainly gain value through others on that day. Wednesday the 22nd is a moon in Taurus day, which is supposed to be nice, but it squares that Pluto-Jupiter conjunction. So be careful from heightened drama. It's a good day for sexuality or introspection or shamanism and anything mystical, but be aware of obsession and drama. And Thursday, that's the new moon day, and this new moon in Taurus, which is supposed to be very fruitful, and very harmonious, and lush, packs a punch, because it conjuncts Uranus, the planet of awakening and changes, and it squares Saturn, the planet of judgment. And that Saturn is in Aquarius. Okay, so it's judgment by groups, judgment by <coughs> on an ideological basis, on the basis of us needing to upgrade our system, our rules, our, our way of governance, our way of making decisions, the way we run things. And it squares Uranus as well, you know. So we, we definitely, we can't see people going out to the streets. We can't see people rebelli rebelling. But we have to be careful not to have a too short uh, 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 fuse in our life as well. Not to lash out, not to use the whip in our hammer too much, you know. Remember why we are doing this for creating a better world, for uniting. The worst thing we could do right now is, is start biting each other. And we could see some of that in, in, in the next two weeks. And it is our work to work on uniting and reconciliation and forgiveness. Unification. Walking forward, united. Diverse and united. Diverse and united. <clears throat> Friday the 21st, uh, Friday the 24th, on the morning time, Eastern European time, square to Mars. If you're doing any physical activity, be more careful. What, cutting your salad in the morning, be, be more careful. And But Saturday, wow, a lot of energy in the sky. Sunday as well, as the moon will conjunct Uranus on Sunday. And uh, it, Mercury is squaring the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction as Pluto starts its, its retrograde. There's an, a real atmosphere of disclosure of an unveiling you know of things that were hidden 
lurking in the darkness and the shadows and now are exposed. And that could heighten the changes, the rebellion, the, the, the walking forward, both on a personal level, when we see things that have been hiding in our own shadows and we can now expose them to the light and purify them <clears throat> and rid them of our lives and actually walk um, liberated and emancipated forward. Also in our governments, also in our, um, you know, the structure of society itself, the laws that govern us. And as I said, unification, you know, and not looking on the separateness of things and not starting to bite each other's ankles instead of utilizing energy to actually do good. That, that could be our downfall. We could see each other as too different. They're not like us, these people, you know, be careful of that. Um, that's about everything I had to say. I want to remind you that for the next week or so, maybe, I don't know if any, any longer than that, I still have Corona prices on. That means 40% off on all my readings, courses, private lessons. This is an amazing time to invest in yourself. And if you need installments, that's possible as well. So contact me if you need anything and thank you for sharing and, uh, and sending these videos on and commenting about them. I love you all and thank you for the support you've given me uh, in this time and thank you for all your wonderful comments. It makes me so happy to know that these videos are important for you. May we all heighten the light, live long, fearlessly and prosper. Amen.